Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos to educate women more on how their bodies function, how to feel better, and how to maintain your best results ever. Uh, I'm the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon. Uh, I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, uh, which is on everywhere podcast, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy, where I do a ton of information for women, again, just to educate women more. There are so many things that women miss out on in terms of their optimal health because we're just not told. We're not educated. And this isn't something that is necessarily on the forefront of other people's mind when you're looking at having your body work at its best. So when we're looking here at things like um, pelvic inflammatory disease, which is what I'm going to talk about today, often not a popular subject. You know, I, what's funny is that uh, this is something that people research and will Google in the middle of the night because they are wondering and they come across something and they're like, what? But people don't openly be like, hey, what about this thing? <laughs> not as popular, right? PID is the um, acronym for it, pelvic inflammatory disease. So this can onset for a number of different reasons, right? A lot of times people talk about um, STDs or other bacteria or something like that, some type of infection in your lady parts. So you're going to be looking at, um, again, women's health and they look at, oh, this is like your ovary and they're looking at women's health as just like one body part. No, look at the entire person and how things are functioning all together, right? Yes. Okay, good. We're on the same page. Um, fallopian tubes and then... Um, your your uterus, right? Different different parts. You can technically have an infection or something in any of these areas, and then it spread to other areas and cause these other issues, leading to pelvic inflammatory disease, which then can cause infertility, which is one of the more severe repercussions of it. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily have to be from an STD at all. It 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 can be um, from a, a problem that originates in say your ovary or a blocked fallopian tube or oh this is super fun you get scar tissue built up in between these things this little mesh and network of scar tissue there that then leads to inflammation right when there's scar tissue your body creates scar tissue why because there is some type of injury or something was wrong and your body is trying to protect it that's its protective mechanism so it builds up the scar tissue. Great, super good, so happy about it. But when you have that scar tissue, does that mean that your body's gonna be functioning the way that it should? Pro probably not, right? So then that will lead to other inflammation, right? Other inflammation in your body. And when you, are, when you have inflammation, especially in your reproductive organs, they're gonna have a really hard time functioning the way that they should, therefore leading to infertility. So. So it's hard to say, you know, exactly this or that, right? But most of the time people will look at PID and just say, oh, it's from some type of bacteria or infection. Okay, but a lot of women suffer pain. They have pain, they have um, sharp abdominal pains, they have painful intercourse, all these other things that again, women don't necessarily talk about or they're af afraid to or not sure if there's a problem here. But what it's really happening is it's leading to some others. Because when you have pain, there's, there's a problem, there's inflammation. And where there's inflammation and your body tries to protect it, it's gonna build up scar tissue. So when you're building up scar tissue in between here, how well are you gonna ovulate and how well is your, you know, your, your um, ovulation gonna happen regularly? It's not. Then that's gonna to lead to infertility. So for a lot of women, when they try and look at, oh, I'm just not ovulating or, oh, there's a problem there, right? You're looking at one tiny sliver or piece of it when really, okay, let's back up. Let's look at the whole picture. Well, let's look at you as a whole. And then what can we do and take steps towards really making sure that your body, your system functions as it should and that we're taking down that inflammation from the inside out and things are, get the opportunity to function better. Your body has this amazing ability to really change how it works as long as it's got the opportunity. So that's what we do. Now I'm gonna put a link below this video where you can download the top five supplements for fertility that you are probably missing, uh, that you're probably not aware of that you're even missing because they are so, so powerful. And looking at things like inflammation and looking at and helping things um, like, like PID. And go ahead and download that. I'm also doing a webinar where I'm gonna be talking about more details on fertility, talking about things that you can specifically do every single day to make sure that your body works and functions at its best. 
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and schedule a call with me. My mission is just to educate women more on how they can do better things at home to really work with their hormones versus fighting against it. So I know this is sometimes a really tough conversation to have, not a popular topic, but I knew it needed to be covered. I knew that women, the women who need to hear this message will because these are women that are not giving, uh, not being given enough information about their, how their bodies work and function and the things that you can do at home to really help improve these issues. So that's what I got for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll put these links below right now and you can download and get it. And then again, join us on our webinar on Sunday night to get the rest of the information. All right, have a great rest of your day.